Now that is really, really beautiful. So hello everyone and welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. It's been a while since we uh, played this here on the channel but really wanted to uh, revisit this one. If you are watching this I am probably on vacation, everything went uh, accordingly. So I wanted to do a quick video and I felt like this one, especially in challenge mode which is what we are playing right now, would be a good idea. And uh, if you're asking yourself why, let me show you. So 100 meters, went from the left, bam. It is just so satisfying. But anyways, yes, challenge mode. So as you can see, I have uh, no HUD and the enemy's AI has been boosted to the max. Now this makes them you know, serious killers with uh, serious firepower and aim. No stormtroopers here today. And also, you get caught so quickly that it's actually insane. And I wish Ghost Recon was like this. But it isn't. Not even on extreme mode. But, uh... <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it. A little bit of rambling here today. There are two guys by the front entrance. Hopefully, they do not spot me. Now, I could do a collateral, but... To be honest, I don't wanna waste the ammo, because if I die, I will have the same ammo. And I have to go back and buy some more. And, uh... Well, I'm out of money. So... Pretty sure this will do. I think it worked out really good there. Really fun, these uh, animations. Let's go inside the camp. But yeah, man, this game actually looks really good. Um, there are no mods for it or anything like that besides like removing the head, but um, tried it a couple times. Couldn't uh, seem to work. So I just uh, put the game in the max difficulty because I really don't like HUD in games and this one does a good job at keeping it really mild. Uh, it's just a right bar which I don't know what it means. So that's a good plus. And there is a guy by the fireplace and I'm pretty sure he's not alone. So I'm gonna go around. Yeah, he has buddies. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Talking about a deadline. Hmm. Wow. I feel like the pistol actually does more damage if you are stealthy. Because if I was caught for some reason my pistol would feel like a pea shooter but because they have no idea where I am, or maybe just because I was close, it was actually really effective. The radio doesn't seem to work. I'm pretty sure that's because I have the music turned off, because, uh, well, I like to add my own tracks. <laughs> but anyways, there is a guy right there. He's going to the left. Oh. And as you can see, dude, the AI is not blind at all. Jeez. So we have our little drone here. So, one guy on the bridge. Another guy right there. Love the drone here, so smooth. Another guy right there by the mortar. Oh, yeah, guy on the bridge. Two guys, is that? Yeah, two guys by the fireplace. So that's what, five people? At least. It might be more here. Let me check this out. Get a little bit closer. Yeah, we're good. <coughs> so I wanna go up because I don't have a shot on that guy on the bridge there. Uh, the metal railings are in front of me. But another really cool thing I like about this game, and I feel like this video seems like a sponsored video, and believe me it isn't. <laughs> but the one thing I like about this game that a lot of people don't like, um, it's the open world. It does give you like a lot of options, and yes, it feels like it was just slapped here because they wanted to, but I don't mind it. I like freedom, you know? 
so it's not the best open world, but you can do some really cool stuff like this. So it's not like linear missions, like the newer ones. But the sniping feels just as good. Now I did uh, remove the uh, bullet camera because I felt like it just slows down the gameplay. And I uh, kind of want to get this going, you know, just kill some people, move on, never stop, that kind of stuff. And we do have that guy there. Now, I'm not going to shoot him because if you remember from the drone, there was a guy somewhere around here. Now he's not close, he's like 30 meters behind, but with a clear line of sight, in challenge mode, he's definitely going to see that. So that's a big difference from uh, for all of my uh, OG Ghost Recon fans. This is the kind of stuff you just cannot do in this game, and you can get away with in breakpoints, you know? The uh, viewing distances are really low, even in extreme mode, but uh, not here, man. Not here. <coughs> hmm. Where am I supposed to go now? Should I just jump or...? I'm kinda confused here. Maybe I should just go above and then there should be... No, I'll just jump in. So that worked really good. Didn't break my ankles. Great success. <laughs> just reminded me of uh, Manny Kobashin, I think. That's the guy's name. He has all the supercars and he's like a real estate uh, entrepreneur. Super rich. And that hurts a little bit, but... Yeah, you always say something like, Great success, and it's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, two guys by the fireplace. Should probably prone here, but to be honest, I don't think they can see me, so... Let's just go for it. And they almost did. Okay. Yeah, no, the, it's super fast. Like, get spotted super fast. I really like it, but... It makes it really hard. This is like my fourth base I'm trying to do. While talking at the same time, and it's so incredibly difficult. But anyways, two guys. Um, maybe the same deal. Knife and shoot. Oh. He almost spotted me. Yeah, he was too far away. Oh, he's burning. Oh, that sucks, dude. That's just... That's not what I wanted. Wanted to loot the body, not the AK. Who wants the AK? Got a goddamn bow, man. So much better. No loot there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, challenge mode also decreases the loot you find, so everything is just more difficult, you know? It's really good, though. I love that you can just jump. It's kind of as the Far Cry style gameplay, where it's a very basic Dying Light parkour system and a great snapping mechanic. That's pretty much what this game is. But it's so good, yeah. It's a little bit repetitive with the missions, and you cannot uh, load saves, but... Other than that, I mean, for five bucks, this game is a, it's a steal, let me tell you. It's a goddamn steal. So yeah, let's try the compound bow. Not on a movement target, though. Because I am playing with this with the controller, I like it because of the smoother movement. I think it's a better viewer experience, but uh, really better aiming, though. Nice. But yeah, my controller skills have been in a steady decrease over the last year. Is that a civilian or...? Yeah, it's a civilian. I used to play Ghost Recon with a controller all the time. And now I just, I barely play with a controller, because I don't play that game anymore, that much. Um, and I feel like, as a viewer, I don't like the flicking, you know, the mouse flicking, so I just play everything with super low sensitivity for you guys, and kind of get used to it. So going back to controller, where you gotta use, like, higher sensitivity. If you want to actually be able to move, it's a little bit different. 
but yeah yeah that's it's pretty much me i have like the maximum sensitivity on controllers and the absolute lowest possible on uh, mouse and keyboard <laughs> i don't know but let's go up I gotta kill is he spotting me no that was another guy okay so there is one more guy below so we have to kill this one and then oh he's gonna spot me Oh, he almost did. That was so close, because as soon as they spot you, they send like radio messages or whatever. The system does, and uh, you're instantly fried, like... GG, you're gonna get mortar to that. Can't really see where the last one is, though. Somewhere... it was somewhere around here. But now I cannot see him. Let's go there. Could be in one of these cards. I don't think I can go through there. Hmm. What is he? Oh. Is that him? Well, it wasn't. That'll be a real shame. Let me see. Yeah, that's military. I was like, maybe it was a civilian. I didn't want to kill civilians because they do make them work. <laughs> and I don't think I can go through there. But yeah, with no HUD, you really have no idea. Which is uh, really cool. Anyways. So we gotta check this last house. Let me go... Here. Okay, so two guys by the fireplace. These are the last two, I think. Wonder if I should do this. Just a pistol. Oh, and I broke the suppressor. I forgot to repair it, but you can see how quickly he turned on me, though. That was instant. That's what I want in uh, stealth games, man. Sniper goes for you as a stealth game. GG. Really good. What is this? Pills. Don't think we're gonna need them, but um, yeah, thanks guys. I mean, thank you for watching. Quick video, I know. Um, probably on vacation at the moment if I haven't said it earlier. And until I'm back, have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.